you know, two years of mental torment, almost. And to hear dumb shit like, no, that's not what it was. I mean, it sounds like Dennis when he was 16 and got caught with a dime bag, smoking a joint in Elk Ridge. Nope, that's not what it was, officer. I see you, you've been smoking marijuana. Nope, that's not what it was. It seems like an awful lot of people, though, take part in that mental torment, and they'd like to see you in that anguish. You know, it, it, it amazes me. It amazes me. That amazes me. So, I guess I was pretty much on point when I said there is no empathy left. Well, at least in this neck of the woods. In this neighborhood, there's no empathy. The only thing people give a shit about around here are gift cards and what they can get for free. You know, it's Baltimore, you know, that's what, it's, that's what it is. But to mess with somebody's PTSD and anxiety to the point to where you, you, you're, you're crippling them when they got to go to the grocery store. Or they're being stalked or, you know, larked upon. If you notice, the lights make a triangle. You know, ain't that amazing how that happens? A little, little orange one in the left, but the other two are white, and it ends up making a triangle. Look at that shit. But these people feed on your misery. Like, they, they, they enjoy watching you suffer. And I mean all of them. So no matter how bad you already mentally suffer... Or how bad you already are traumatized, because I don't think anybody here has found their, you know, spouse purple. Right? Right? I mean, maybe one person, maybe one, but no one else. Yeah, I'm going to say maybe one. I hope God is merciful, but at the same time, without repentance, he's not going to be. So just remember that, and if you don't believe me, read the Bible. If you don't read the Bible, that's your fault. I knew it was sadistic wickedness. I knew it. I could tell. Man, I feel bad.